Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the home opener in Foxborough, the Patriots game this evening. And right now, based on the latest radar trends, the, the beginning part of the game should start off dry. But towards the, uh, the latter part of the game, and certainly coming home from the game, better chances for showers and thunderstorms. Take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. I've been watching this uh, all afternoon. Strong, severe thunderstorms have been confined to northern New England, out towards upstate New York and western Massachusetts. And now seeing a new line, albeit very thin and small, of showers and thunderstorms storms developing across the uh, Connecticut River Valley. This is all ahead of a strong cold front. Now, I do expect at least the severity of these storms as they approach later on this evening to weaken. However, some will still be on the strong side. Downpours, some gusty wind, and some frequent lightning. The arrival time is sometime after 9 or 10 o'clock this evening, and then after midnight, it, it becomes widespread and generous. So we're in a bit of a lull right now, a, dr a dry start, meaning no rain. Of course, the humidity is very high. Clouds are rolling in. Temperatures, as expected, not as as hot as yesterday, mid 70s in most spots, though cooler along the South Shore in the lower 70s. It'll stay in the 70s, low 70s most of the night. Strong cold front, the leading edge of cool and dry air, which will really settle in here for this weekend. But before it arrives, you see the line of showers and thunderstorms severe in northern New England. You can see more activity off to our north and west. And again, this will be some generous rain, some downpours, and some lightning later on this evening. Even though the activity, as far as the severity, will be decreasing a little bit, some may still be on the uh, robust side. You can see numerous cloud to ground lightning strikes off to our north and west and while we'll keep thunder in the forecast. Now Rhode Island and southeastern Mass not included in the severe thunderstorm watch until 10 o'clock this evening but that watch is not that far away so all the more reason why we want to watch to our north and west later on this evening and during the overnight. Now take a look at futurecast starts off this evening with the clouds rolling in. Now let's advance the map to around 9 o'clock in Foxborough right about here. We don't see any widespread rain or thunder but really Really, beyond 9 o'clock and up until midnight, you see the activity becomes more generous. Showers and thunderstorms, some with downpours. This will continue beyond the midnight hour into early tomorrow morning. I would allow for some extra travel time tomorrow morning and some of these showers and some downpours. Even at noontime, with the cold front slowing down, there's still the risk of showers and thunderstorms into the afternoon that becomes, well, not as widespread, but the chances there. Bottom line is it's an unsettled day and certainly keep the umbrella nearby through at least early early tomorrow evening. We do get rid of all of this in time for the weekend. It really dries out nicely uh, Saturday and Sunday. So quiet for now, but later on this evening and overnight, showers and thunderstorms, some with downpours and gusty wind, temperature at 70. Early morning rain and some strong thunderstorms, temperature at 74. We may get into a lull for a few hours tomorrow afternoon, but I do expect showers to redevelop in the afternoon. Any sunshine right now would be partial. Temperature topping out at around 77. Here comes the drying trend for the weekend, though it is noticeably cool. We're back to autumn, partly sunny Saturday, uh, mostly sunny skies. Beautiful on Sunday, despite that chilly start in the morning at 49. And notice next week, no heat or humidity. It feels more like autumn, dry and comfortable on uh, Monday through Thursday of next week. Daytime highs, upper 60s to mid 70s, and nighttime temperatures in 40s and 50s. So I won't predict any scores, but as far as the weather for the game, it starts off dry, but towards the tail end of the game, and if folks coming home from the game, I do expect some showers and storms. Well, right. We got to get to work early then. <laughs> Okay. Thanks, Don.